<laughs> whoa. You right there, Mike? My microphone was acting up. I was like, whoa, I'm hearing lots of sound. Sorry, microphone. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Folks, today is the day. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a second. Let's take a second, shall we? Let's, let's. Do you hear that sound? In the distance. It's a familiar sound, one we've heard many a time in the arcade and at home. It's the sound of the player select, but not only this. It is the sound of the ultimate competition. It is the sound of fighters waiting in the wings to strike. Urban Artifact Beer, yes, let's go! It is Warriors. Poised for dominance in this round robin CPU versus CPU tournament of Ultimate, sorry, Ultra Street Fighter 2. What a night tonight will be, folks. What a night. But before we begin, let's take a second. Folks, earlier today, just a couple hours ago, Nintendo graced us with a Nintendo Direct. How'd y'all think it went for those that watched it? It was fine. I was more excited for them, a lot of the uh, the old games coming back. Uh, Live Alive looks fantastic. Curse Luscious for Balrog. That's what everyone's been talking about, Lip. Uh, Live Alive looks great. Uh, Lip, if you didn't see, the Chrono, Cro Chrono Cross is coming to Switch. And it comes with the text adventure that was Japanese only. That's a pretty big deal, I think. Um, the Live Alive remake, I'm with you, Curse Lesh. I think that looks fantastic, and I want to play that. I want to play Chrono Cross. That looks great. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so happy I picked Kirby, because that Kirby game looks so good. It looks so good. It looks fantastic. I'm super excited for that. There's a part of me, um, there's a part of me, oh, Lip, you know what you can do for Radical Dreamers is watch me play it, because I'll probably do that. Um, part of me wants to do Mario Strikers, or the, the new Mario Strikers game, and do a league. That would be great. I'm feeling, buenos dias, damas caballeros y otros. Edgar, how are you today, my friend? Are you ready? Are you excited? But this Nintendo Direct was great. Um, I It was not for me, most of it. was like just stuff I wasn't interested in. I'm not interested in the Fire Emblem Musou game. I'm not interested in um, in the Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Like, It's just, it's not for me. But I know so many people that are super stoked for that stuff. That's their jam, and I can't be happier for them. If you're an R uh, JRPG fan, like a huge one, that Direct was for you. I mean, there are strategy JRPGs. There are traditional JRPGs. We were getting so much info. Triangle Strategy going up to the first three chapters. Like, oh, for the demo. I'm so excited for Triangle Strategy. Ugh, so many things to be excited for for a uh, JRPG fan. Classics available again. Yeah, uh, the the NES Earthbound or the NES uh, Mother One is definitely a big one because you can only get that on the Wii U, I believe, right? Um, yeah. Oh man, so good stuff there. There's a lot of remakes, a lot of remasters, like and a lot of ports. You know, like I'm not excited about No Man's Sky coming to Switch or Portal. Like that's just not not for me. But like Klonoa, dude, folk, more folks should play Klonoa. That's one of those situations where people are always like, you know, they should bring back these old games that are really super good and just put them on modern systems. Well, they are. And the Switch is being the place for that. Put your money where your mouth is. But it has to have the, you know, like people get all caught up on, um, on the virtual console. Look, guys, the virtual console exists on the Switch. It does. You're just not looking. I got the SNK versus Capcom card battle game. It doesn't have to be on Virtual Console. I bought that. It's an old Neo Geo Pocket <laughs> game. Like, 
come on. Earthbound is on Wii U Virtual Console. Earthbound Beginnings, I think, was released on the GBA. Uh, Earthbound Beginnings was also on the Wii U. Uh, that was the first time it came into being, was on the Wii U. They localized it. Um, Earthbound 3 is the GBA with a fan translation. Earthbound Beginnings is Mother 1 on the NES. Um, I bought that Capcom beat em up bundle. That was fun. Yes, Corsalesh. Sadly missing the D&D beat em ups, though. That was, yeah. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, Corsalesh, of all the classic beat em ups, and I'm a diehard Streets of Rage fan, the D&D Capcom games are the best. I think it was included because I think they're sold separately. You can buy them individually on the Switch. I think. You could on the Wii U. But uh, those are the best beat em up games ever made. Classic beat em up games. Golden X2, and the arcade Golden X2, is a close second. Or third, or whatever. It's fantastic. But are you ready, folks? I think it's time. I think it's time. Let's do this. That's not it. <laughs> Let's talk about... Hold on, that's my Twitter. You got a nice glimpse of my Twitter. Bam! It's time now. All right, folks. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Balrogs is Kurosalesh. We're starting what round here? Round three. We did two rounds last. Our current leaders are, of course, our vanilla ice cream, Ryu, being sponsored by Dwarven Dad. It's 2 0. Oh. DJ, sponsored by Todd Eight Step. Two wins right now. Cami. Kununo Oni's pick. Two wins. Vega, sponsored by our dear friend Lapilicos. Two and O. Oh. M. Bison, by our man, lovely friend of the stream, dear friend. Praise the sun. Two and O. Oh. Let's go, Bison! Oh, man. Cami looked the best last week. Urban Artifact Beer, you're not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Cami was killing it. She was killing it. I was really... And DJ also, really one-handedly. Um, now, we have some folks that are kind of middle of the road right now. Ken, sponsored by Persnickety Sea Cow. Chun-Li, by our dear friend and moderator, Sakura. Blanca, the kids. That's Lips Kids. They had sponsored Blanca. Dalsim, Urban Artifact Beer, one and one Hasn't been using the stretchy arms. Really surprised by this. Maybe they will tonight. Faye Long, sponsored by Anomis. They're all one in one. And now the bottom of the barrel, sadly, currently. But look, guys, there are 14 more, or sorry, 13 more rounds. So it's anybody's game. 0 and 2 guys right now are Guile with Gunstar Heroes. T Hawk, sponsored by Edgar Sparingly. Balrog, sponsored by Curse Alesh. The comeback's coming. Sagat, sponsored by Simon Ash here, and Zangief, Zangief, not Zangief, sponsored by Nick, Archaeobotanist himself. All right, it's time. Let's see who is next. Round three begins with two versus three. So Ken versus Guile is the start of the night. So. Who's going to win? Put your money where your mouth is. Ken versus Guile. Oh, let me make this a little bigger. Boink. Who will win? Not Violent Ken or Violent Ken. Ken or Guile. Woo. All right, you guys have one minute. One minute to place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, leaning towards go home and be a family man. Exactly. <clears throat> Chris Lesh is going with the G-Man. Oh, man. Let's see. So, Ken. Versus Guile. We'll let the timers run out. Guile is 0-2 right now. Ken is 1-1. One one. It could be anybody's game here. They both play very similar. They both got their, you know, their... Their big anti airs, the Dragon Punch versus the Flash Kick. Their projectiles, the Hadoken versus the Sonic Boom. How's it gonna go? I mean, it's the real question. 
it's all up to chance here because I was watching some games again. Getting in the spirit today. Guile was kicking some butt. Professor Peril, ahoy indeed. How are you, my friend? Let's go. We're going to the U.S. of A. Uh, we're starting with player one gets to be their home right now. Next round is player two. Let's see how this goes. Conquering Eastern Europe. Gal gets the first hit in. Ken's busting out the wackadoo. Childukens! Gal's got a sonic boom, so he's gotta gotta play that game. Punish the flash click kick, you love to see it. But Gal's got that or Ken's got that super meter right now. Oh my goodness. It's a back and forth right now. He's trying to bait out the, the Dragon Punch. Ken just getting excited. He's showboating. He had no intention of hitting with that. He just wanted to showboat. He wanted to throw a super out just for fun. Again, Guile's showboating back. They are just right now showing off to each other. <gasps> Guile leaks out the first round. Now, this is a three out of five rounds. So this is not anyone's game still. That was close. Sonic booms right now are he's are working. Flash kicks to punish the uh, the dragon punch. Come on, Gunstar Heroes needs a break, folks. Sharp blonde versus smooth blonde. Gunstar Heroes needs to catch a break. All right, he gets the short end of the stick. All of the time. It needs to end now. He takes the second round handedly. And he's not here to see it too, which makes me sad. Let's go, Kyle. USA versus USA right now too, so like, come on. The Sonic Booms have been really helping him out in this fight against Ken. They're perfectly timed, look at this, to punish. Oh, Ken doesn't even know what to do right now! Ken is getting outmatched in a big way. Oh, dude, that's it. Todd 8-step! How's it going? You came in perfect time. The winner of that was our boy, Guile. Won that handedly. First round, a little tough, but then he locked in. He knew what was up. Let me pop in the... um the results here. Guile against Ken is a win. Alright, so Guile's now 1-2. And, and so is Ken. Ken is 1-2. and two. They both are tied up now in the rankings. <clears throat> nice win, Guile. Right? That was a beautiful win. He's coming back. He, he took some time for self-reflection. But folks... Folks, we were just talking about this. The person who looked the smoothest yesterday. Cammy. Up against Fei Long. Who's going to win? You guys have one minute starting now. Kununoni! How's it going, Kununoni? It's good to see you. Yeah, so come on in, place your bets. It is Cammy versus Fei Long. Right now, Fei Long, one and one. Cammy two and zero. Oh. Anyone's game here. Cammy could be toppled because Fei Long, a very talented martial artist, doesn't have that big bulk. Because she faced off against. This is who she faced off against, guys. Think about this for a second. Cammy. Faced off against her two winning games, Zangief and T-Hawk, two of the slow grapplers, playing to her strengths, right? Now she's playing a more mobile opponent, one who's got some great tools to stop her. Will they be enough? That's the question. By the way, I replayed Kami vs. Zangief like a million times. Kami won every time. 
Let's go. We're going to the UK. Where is the UK? England. Zen Jif. Zen Jif. <laughs> Zen peanut butter. Start off with the cannon drills. They're flipping and dipping towards each other. All right. She got the suplex on him. Early throw. Good defense. Punishing his special moves. We gotta love it, but oh, we got his big flaming kick. Okay, Phalanx getting some hits in. Here's the thing, we've seen lots of comebacks in these situations. But the trade didn't help. Kemi won that one pretty easy. Dude, throwing down the peace sign. You love it. She's always opens up with a cannon drill. Phalanx doesn't have an answer for this. There we go. He's not getting a lot of damage in on her, surprisingly. Right? He's getting the hits, but not the damage. Cammy's got him stuck in the corner right now. Oh, dude, no. She really is the one to beat. Throwing the super down. He gets out of the corner. He can't get hit. This is so... They're just flip... She's trying to confuse the crap out of him. Oh, he gets a throw! Oh, but he just walks right into a cannon drill. Tonight on Edgar throws all his buckazoids down a hole. So much speed, she still has... Hits like a freight train. Exactly! Alright, here we go. Phalanx coming back. He got in a good throw. She comes back with a big old thigh throw. Phalanx just getting some pokes. He's poking her. He's playing footsies right now. He's playing the footsies game, which is a great, you know, great Street Fighter thing, but not against CPUs, as you can see. Can he stay alive right now? Oh, he gets a good kick in. But, oh, she hits him with the super, but it's not enough. The suplex to finish it off. Cammy dominates, as always. Jeez, can anyone stop Cammy right now? Everybody put their money down on Cammy. My goodness. I don't blame him one bit. Cammy was fantastic. As always. She's killing it. She's 3 0, our first competitor to go 3 0 right now. Alright, let's see. Cammy versus Fei Long. That's a win for her. And that's a loss for him. I hate to see it. Fei Long's down to 1 and 2 right now. You hate to see it, but Cammy, 3 and 0. Oh. Oof. It's beautiful. She can't be stopped. Your guess to beat Cammy would be M. Bison. Professor Peril, I don't think you're wrong. I can't play this game worth a shit, but I'm loving these streams. <laughs> That's my girl! Kuna no Oni, man. Let's be honest here. What a pick. What a pick. I was not expecting it to be as well as it was. Now, folks. This is a classic, another classic matchup. Right? Our poster child, White Bread Ryu, versus the Thighs of Steel, Chun Li. Dwarf and Dad's Ryu versus Sakura's Chun Li. 2 0 Ryu, 1 1 Chun Li. Ryu won against Cannon Guile. Chun Li won against Sagat, lost against M. Bison, the 2 0 M. Bison. She couldn't avenge her father. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Ryu, White Bread Ryu, or Thaisa Steel Chun Li? The real question here. Put your money down. 2 0 versus 1 1. She couldn't avenge her dad against M. Bison. Can she come back from that debilitating loss? That's how she ended last week's tournament performance. Can she come around and get a win? Do it for dad, Chun Li. Home stage advantage is going to be huge here. You'd think so, right? So far? So far. Let's take a second to think about this. Uh, who won the first match? First match was Ken versus Guile. Okay, and it was at Guile or Ken's home turf, so player two won that one. 
player one won the next one. We're always thinking about who's going to win this. Let's go take a look. We're going to Japan. Ryu versus Chun-Li. Every stage is Ryu's stage. He's the Wanderer. Exactly. She comes up with a poke. Mid-air poke. Exchange of projectiles. She eats a Hadoken in the face. They are just right now getting a feel for each other. She didn't fall for the overhead. She's trying to get him with some ambiguous cross-ups. There we go. She's getting some pokes in right now. She's just whittling away that health. Getting that lead, that life lead taken down just a little bit more. She miss, like miss, uh, misses that kick real bad there. Oh, she's trying to, she's trying to whittle him down. She's using her quick moves here versus him, using his strongs. But look at this, she's just coming in, going out, going in, going out, back and forth, back and forth. This is how this has been going. Oh, it gets a hit. Time's running out. Time's running out with the throw. Were you X out of victory? Do, they, her fireballs don't have the range that Ryu's does. Oh, she takes a Hadoken in the face. Again. Oh my gosh, Chun Li's just eating fireballs right now. What is wrong, Chun Li? She's in her head right now. She couldn't avenge her father. How could she even remotely play against the wandering champion? White bread for you. A lot of thoughts in her head right now. She doesn't know what to do. She's The CPU is literally being downloaded by the other CPU. It's like, I got your codes. I know what's up. I'm reading your inputs. Here we go. Can she make that comeback? She's not taking the Eclectic Lilkins in the face. You know the Eclectic Lilkins. You're better than this. Come on. Spinning bird kick goes right over his head. She's getting those pokes in. Alright. Ryu finally takes a fireball to the face. Chun Li is really playing it very, very defensively here. Just kind of hiding back there. There we go. She gets some aggression in with the spinning bird kick. There we go, Chun Li. Come on, one more hit for me. All you need is one more. Yes! Oh my gosh. The kicks. The kicks? She's still in the game. Two more rounds, Shin. You gotta dig yourself out of this hole. The kicks to save the round. She always comes in with those quick little pucks. Nice use of the spinning bird kick to avoid the Hadoken. Oh, but she takes... She takes a hurricane kick to the face, man. That's never a good thing. Come on, Chun. Oh, Chun is a point-blank range fireball right now. She's stuck in that corner. She needs to get out of there. Ooh, nice anti-air. The pokes. The pokes are helping her out right now. Oh, she mistimes the spinning bird kick again. She tried it again. Tried to get fancy. Oh, Ryu with the throws. Those throws are so dangerous. Got to punish. Getting out of the corner. There we go, Chun. Come on, Chun. No, nope, don't eat the fireballs. She's trying everything. She can't punish. Oh, she takes the hurricane kick to the face. And that's it for Chun Li. Ryu continues to be undefeated. Wow, that was close. She was hanging on, but it wasn't enough. She had several opportunities to punish. Kununoni's making bank. Ryu, the fan, fan favorite, not ours, but the rest of the world. Everybody loves our, our good old white bread Ryu. That puts Ryu at 3-0 and and Chun-Li at 1-2. and Look, the gap is getting ever increasingly large. It's wild. No one can beat Ryu right now. No one can. But we're going to see. We're going to see what happens, right? Seriously, no joke. When I play Street Fighter Five online, ranked every other match is against a damn Ryu. It absolutely is. I pick him. If there's a Dan Hibiki, I pick a Dan Hibiki. But. Also, note, folks, if you are a subscriber, 
We have for the tournament some special emotes. We got a little a little hype emotes here. You ready? There they are. We got some dull seam dance. We got some Blanca Stundo nose. Woo! And of course, Bob the Blobfish. Doing a little dance, shaking that rump. It's beautiful. So if you subscribe, you have access to those animated gifts. Delight. An absolute delight. Now listen, folks. Next up in the tournament, we have our 3-0 DJ versus... Wait, hold on. Am I doing this right? Yes, 3-0 DJ versus... 3 0 Vega. Who's gonna win? DJ or. Oh no, it's not, Be it's not Vega. It's not Vega. I'm glad I didn't put this in yet. It's not Vega. I miscounted. Is it Balrog? Or 0 and 2? 2 and 0 versus 0 and 2. Let's put it in. DJ or Balrog. One minute starting now. Go. Who's going to win? This is interesting. I did not think I did not think that DJ was going to do as well as he did. In all honesty, I really thought he was going to be the the roles here would be switched. I thought that Balrog's awesome charge moves, his, you know, dashes, all the crazy punches he's got were going to be huge to close those gaps between the opponents and get in there. He hasn't been doing that. He hasn't been landing his hits. Balrog has lost against Blanca and Dalsim. Those are the only wins that those two competitors have. DJ got his wins against T-Hawk and Fei Long. Are those warranted? Are those wins legitimate? Will the competitors continue to perform? <coughs> well, I have something stuck in my throat. Let's find out. We're going to Jamaica, everybody. Some people say that, you know, you know you can't believe Jamaica, they have a bobsled team. They're out there right now, bobsledding. GG Jamaica. GG's gonna win one for you. Oh, dude, Balrog comes in. Rushing with the uppercut. Dodging the projectiles. With a with the jump. He's jumping all over the place, which is so not Balrog. Headbutting his way through there. Oh, look at this. Balrog's coming in mad. He's mad. Look at this. Headbutt. Taking DJ down quick. Oh, dude. Look at those packs. He's got a 24 pack right there. Getting a couple jabs in. Keeping DJ at bay. Oh, DJ gets him with a projectile. But Balrog, headbutting him like no tomorrow. I think I see DJ's ear on the floor. Oh, there is the headbutts that were killing it for Balrog. This is like the fastest fight we've ever seen. Thank you! Spider Monkey, thank you so much for the follow. Hi, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. DJ coming back now. Downloading Balrog. Getting some throws in. So much for maximum pants. DJ's coming back though. Look at this. Look at that round. This is a back and forth. Can he continue that throughout? Let's see how this goes. Spider Monkey, it's so good to have you. Welcome to the CPU versus CPU Tournament of Ultra Street Fighter 4 or 2. God, I always think of Street Fighter 4. DJ's coming back! Look at this! Guess you know how and why Balrog got the name that he did. Yes, of course! He's really Mike Bison. AKA their version of Mike Tyson. Mike Bison. He's, uh, Balrog is actually what Vegas is supposed to be. Mm hmm. That's why he's called Boxer in tournaments. Because in Japan, he's M. Bison. Oh, DJ's coming back, baby. Look at this. A sliver of health. 
takes it to the face. We're going to round three, or round five. Oh my god. Vega was Balrog, Balrog is Bison, and Bison is Vega. Not confusing at all. Dude, DJ's coming in with some major kicks. This right here, he he's downloaded him. He this is a mental game. This is, oh my gosh, he's starting to realize that projectiles are gonna win him this game. But Balrog's not to be stopped. The jabs, oh the jabs, oh my god, he's got a super two. Balrog's got a super. Is he gonna use it? They trade in the air and Balrog finally gets a win. Wow. Wow. That was a fight. I really thought Balrog was going to win that easily with the way he was performing the first two rounds. But DJ made it interesting. Some folks are making some channel points tonight. I will say that. What a win. Balrog. Wow. Okay. Let's put that into the official thing here. Balrog gets his first win in the tournament. Finally. Finally gets it against DJ, the undefeated. Not anymore, though. He is 2-1. and one. Balrog, 1-2. One DJ, of course, being sponsored by Todd 8-Step. His first loss of the tournament. Balrog, sponsored by Curtis Alesh, finally gets a win. The karma is coming back. Good morning, Simon. No Sogath fights have been missed, Simon. Not a one. Thankfully. Folks. That one stung. It stung, Todd. DJ's doing great, though. Come on now. He's He is in second place right now. Two and one. That's not bad. That's still not bad. And anyways, gotta remember. There are 15 total rounds. 15 total rounds. So, there's always next week. You don't have to worry. You're gonna get some stuff. All right. Let's fire it up next. Who is next? We're on round three. We are on our fifth fight already. Wow. Time's flying. T oh, boy. Owen to T-Hawk. Versus Owen to Zangith. The Grapple Showdown. This is going to be a match. Holy smokes. One of them is going to get a win. Is it going to be T-Hawk? Or is it going to be Zengif? Zengif. Oh man, two characters I don't like whatsoever. Who will I pick? Follow your heart, praise. Follow your heart. Which one do you dislike the most? Choose your stereotype. <laughs> Muscle-boned wrestling beer men from Russia with well, Russian, huh? Or Native American T Hawk? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? And again, this will be in. We are going. Where are we? Mexico, T Hawk stage. I'm going Zingief only because I feel his bullshittiness will prevail. Praises on Team Gif. Not Team Jif. This is going to be interesting. Who's going to win? A lot of people thinking Zangief are going to win. We're going to find out. Right now. Going to Mexico. T-Hawk versus Geef. Oh, throw in the hand. Oh, T-Hawk comes in with a big spinning kick. The fact that he can spin Zangief like that is quite a testament but oh dude the the suplex the suplexes oh my gosh this is a back and forth right now this is just a throw fest ot hawk starting to use his aerial oh no look at that oh the health but they both got their supers now thank you for the spinning pile driver oh my gosh next hit wins oh he uses the lariat to get away and the palm the stinky palm Dude, he was rubbing his crotch. He's got a he's got a fungal infection. Okay. He uses it to his advantage. It stinks. It hurts. The nostrils burn. Spinning pile driver again. Oh my gosh. It's just a lot of spinning right now. T-Hawk using that dive. 
very effectively in this fight. Couple pokes. They're in each other's faces right now. Zangief doesn't know what to do. He's trying to jump out of it. Another big spinning pile driver by Geef. Stinky Palm. Oh my gosh, the spinning pile drivers are coming fast and frenetic. Zara says, we're just going to ignore Fred Jones in the background though, right? Zangief. Who's Fred Jones? <laughs> what, the guy just sipping like a tea on the, on the donkey? Scooby-Doo guy. Oh, Fred! Yeah, I see him. Fred from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> with the neckerchief. Yeah, he's hanging out watching a fight right now. Zangief is now winning two rounds. He just needs one more. T-Hawk trying to bait him. Squeeze! Oh, Zangief's squeezing his head like a ripe melon. T-Hawk is just not getting what he needs right now. Just grab him. He's right there. He's in your face. What are you waiting for, T-Hawk? T-Hawk's just not taking advantage. And a spinning foul driver to finish the match. Wow. Simon says, winner has to be Zangief. He has a proven move set, which was enhanced for the latest Street Fighter 2 release. T-Hawk is a bottom tier character, and the devs didn't know all the weaknesses they gave him. Well, Simon, you ran the numbers. And guess what? It paid off. Now, folks, before we get into the next match, it's time to take a second to chill out and relax with a soothing, delightful haiku. It's time. For a haiku. Two bodies entwined, muscle and sinew collide. The hairy man wins. This has been a haiku. Thank you, Todd, for that delightful haiku redemption. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. I greatly appreciate it. All right, folks. Let's let's take a second, shall we? Can we take a second to look at the results before we continue? Here they are. Right now, Zangief got his first win in the tournament against T-Hawk. That's a big win for him. But, listen... Thank you. One. T Hawk 0 and 3. Our first 0 and 3 competitor goes to T Hawk, sponsored by Edgar Sparingly. Edgar, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Simon said that they were going to be here earlier, but they saw someone streaming Sifu. Didn't even know it was out yet. I hear it's good. Chris Lush says somebody has to win when it's 0 and 2 versus 0 and 2. Yeah. On three matches, Ryu is undefeated right now, beating Ken, Guile, and Chun Li. The OGs. That's a big deal. But he hasn't faced any of the tougher bosses. He hasn't gone up against the M. Bisons or the Balrogs or the Vegas. You know, those guys who are really starting to shine. As you can see, this beautiful pattern is starting to coalesce of greens and reds. It's an absolute delight. But I was really surprised when I saw that our next fight would be two very unorthodox competitors. The next fight is going to be Dalsim versus Vega. <clears throat> now, we made a rule. We made a rule. The rule is Vega can't play at home. He's got too much of a home advantage. We aren't going to do it. 
but we will do Dulcim versus Vega right now. Let's get our votes in. Who's going to win? Vega is 2-0. and Dulcim is 1-1. One and one. Dulcim doesn't use... He hasn't been using his, his limbs to his advantage. Will he be able to? Get some stuff in. So is Dulcim restricted to half his moveset too? Does Chun Li keep her wall kick? Those are those are still there. The thing is, Simon, is that Vega spends a lot of time on that cage and he doesn't move. And time just gets wasted. It's not okay. It's not a fair fight. We do need to fight at Vega at some point. He has good music. Just no home field advantage for Vega. Exactly. Exactly. Just no home field advantage for Vega. I'm curious how this is going to go. Dulcim won against... Uh, Dulcim has won against Balrog and lost against Fei Long. Vega won against Ihanda and Blanca. That's not saying a lot. Dulcim ain't getting much love. It's a shame. Let's go to the home of Dulcim as we're heading to India, folks. Vega has the speed advantage, but Dulcim has got the anti-airs. Are we not in fact beers ready? Oh, Vega's coming quick and hot. Oh, jeez. He is going so fast. Dulcim is slowing down, just throwing fireballs. Getting some teleports in. Trying to get in. There we go. You gotta use your limbs, Dulcim. I don't know why you're not stretching. He forgot to do his stretches this morning. He didn't do his morning yoga routine. But look, he's using that dive kick very effectively. Oh, the teleport throw! Dulcim, there you go, Dulcim. Come on, buddy. You got this. Look at how close it is, though, still. Vega started off strong, but Dulcim is coming back. He is coming back. Dalsim has the open air. Vega opens with the jump kick. Exactly. It's true. It's because Dalsim is emphasizing the yoga fire. Vega was predicting that, that, that teleport and immediately goes in for the throw. Oh, dude, the air throws. There we go. Dalsim's starting to use his limbs a little bit more. He's doing the intimidating walk-up. That is confidence if I've ever seen it, though. He's not deterred right now. He's doing the walk-in. Look at that throw! The damage right now. It's just been like this the whole time. So it can be any game right now. Oh, Yoga Flame. Big Yoga Flame. Nice block by Dalsim to dodge the roll. Getting some pokes in. Come on, who's it gonna be? Oh, the super by Vega! Oh, he... That's a dunk if I've ever seen one. That's a dunk if I've ever seen one. Down goes the super callous, fragile mystic. <laughs> also from the air, quiet crystal ash. That was a big dunk. Come on, Dulcim. There we go, Dulcim. Those slides are really good. He's starting to get in some... He's getting... Oh, he can't stop that dunk. He's starting to get an idea. Vega's eating those sweeps. The slides are eating those big time, man. Oh, he's in the corner. Bad place to be right now. Oh, no. Dalsim, not like this, buddy. Oh, no. Dalsim, you gotta move now. He's Oh, he doesn't know what to do. He's really he's trapped in a corner. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, Vega without his claw even goes in for the punch. Vega. Oh, Vega. Vega. Just Dude, Vega was, he was, he was flexing. He was flexing. I felt bad. That was Vega's game to win, it looks like. Super humiliation finished without even using his claw. He did not care. He did not give one singular hoot. Vega versus Dalsim. Vega is undefeated still. Dalsim is one and two. It hurts. I want Dulcim to do better. <clears throat> I believe in him. 
But here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing. There are a lot of one and twos right now. There are a lot of one and twos. So, here's the thing. Right? Right now, we have Ken, Guile, Chun Li, Dalsim, Fei Long, Balrog, and Zangief, all one and two. That's half the roster. More than. One, two, four. One, two, four, six, seven. That's almost half the roster. Is one and two right now. Let's move on to the next game. Let's let's just keep the ball rolling right now. Next up. Oh boy. The King of Sumo. Versus the Fascist King. We're talking. E Honda. One and one. Versus Mike Bison. Two and O. Oh. Who's going to win? E Honda? Or Mike Bison? You believe in Raul Julia? He did just come off a big win, stopping, putting a stop to the daughter of his rival, who he murdered in cold blood. Praises, praises Mike Bison, praises the son's sponsored fighter, versus the beloved Keyglyphs, E Honda. We learned, I learned recently, because I talked to Keyglyph just recently, and I told her that somebody had put in for her to be sponsoring E Honda. And she was like, oh, this is great, because they constantly reference E Honda in their life. They do. It's a regular part of the vernacular. Everybody believes in, in M. Bison right now. Wow, for, for, wow. Let's go, Edmund. Yes, Todd. Frey says, e Honda just sounds like a crappy electric car. How can e Honda possibly come up all of the time, Simon? 20k bet to win 100. Urban Artifact Beer and Todd are putting a couple points down, playing the, playing the numbers game right now. Oh, look at that big slap. Bison's in the corner right now. E Honda. Oh, just giving him a little squishy squishy right now. Look at this. Look at this, E Honda. He's just slapping him out of the air. Bison's flipping and dipping right now, just trying to be an aerial ace. And E Honda is just saying no, just slapping him down. Look at that. Someone fix that for Kunanooni. And this might be. Urban Artifact Beers and Todd's big time to get some money. He's got a big lesson on the power of sumo. Okay, E Honda's changing things up now, staying back, using his headbutt, trying to trying to bait out the big fly high flying moves of Bison. Oh, but he's eating some Psycho Crushers right now. You can't do that. You can't eat the Psycho Crushers. You can bait out the Psycho Crushers, but don't eat the Psycho Crushers. Oh no, here comes Bison coming back. He's downloading E Honda and his moves. He's learning. He's learning what not to do. E Honda not sticking to his strategy. Trying to change things up and confuse the opponent? That's not how you beat Bison. You beat Bison by. He's a. He is a. He is a, just a, an old, weathered bicycle. Does the same thing over and over again. You should know how to deal it. There you go. Yep, just shove his head right there in between the pits. That's how you do it. Psycho Crush sounds like a delicious orange soda with meth. <laughs> There's a lot of movement on the arena right now. Dude, E Honda's throwing the headbutts. Bison's throwing the Psycho Crushers. Oh, here we go. Throwing his weight around. E Honda, right now. Again, re downloading Bison. The, the downloads are back and forth 
Hey kids, stop all the downloads, okay? Help computer! Bison's still alive though, you know this. It's only a couple seconds left. Oh, he hunted with a tiny slap. I don't know why he's leaving out the hundred hand slap. Todd, he's thrown around a couple times. But you gotta have the, you gotta use the hundred hand slap on the right person, right? The headbutt is a far more effective move than that hundred hand slap. And he's been using that a lot. And those big chops have been really helpful against Bison in this fight. This is honestly, this is anyone's game. Hey, we downloaded an update for something. Oh, for Pokemon. Nice. Come on, Honda. Oh no. Oh no. Bison's gonna take this round. We're going to a, we're going to a fifth round. We're going to a fifth round right now. Or are we? Both have supers right now. Both have supers. E Honda. Oh, he takes the Psycho Crusher right in the face. Oh no. We're going to a round five. Let's go. Come on, Edmund. Edmund versus Mike. It's the battle of the initials. Oh, Honda's taking a lot of hits right now. The, he's eating the Psycho Crushers again. His jump backs. Mice, Bison is totally calling when he's going to be jumping back and using that Psycho Crusher to his major advantage. But Honda's not what. Oh, gosh, it's a sliver. No way. Bison wins handedly at the end. Keeping a stranglehold in the competition right now. I'm sorry to the three folks who thought that Ihanda might have won. They had a chance. That was a fight. Congratulations to all the people who really thought that the dictator should win. Congratulations. Your vote has been cast. That was a fantastic fight. That was a fantastic fight. Bison's still 3-0. That puts Ihanda with the rest of the pack. Half the, the roster is at 1 and 2 right now. So in reality, look, everybody's being a loser right now. But then the question is, as this continues, the cream is rising to the top. But the middle of the pack, how are you going to bet in the next round when over half the fighters are 1 and 2? You know, how are you going to bet there? You know what's going to happen. You know what you need to do. All right, round three is coming to a close with the final fight of the round. It is Blanca versus Sagat. Ra boy raised by electric eels versus man with a scarred past. It is final fight of the round, not the final fight of the night. I assure you there will be more. Who's going to win? Blanca or Sagat? Now listen, you got one minute. Here's the deal. Blanca, one and one. Sagat, oh and two. There's only one ma I mean woman who can take down the powerful Archon that is M. Bison. That person is Kami Kunononi. I don't think you're wrong. You know... There, there might be some room for Ryu there. Ryu might be able to be able to take down a bison. You know, the classic hero versus villain. But here you go. 1-1 one one versus 0-2. Oh Blanca won against... Balrog lost against Vega. Sagat lost to... Chun-Li and E-Honda. No one will take down my bison. I believe in the tiger, says Crystal Ash. Oh my goodness. A lot of... Oh, this is pretty even. A little more over on Blanca right now. I... Hey, you know what? You want to know where I stand right now? This is where I stand right now. I'm to Blanca, baby. I'm to Blanca. Look at that. We're going to Brazil. Brazil. Let's see how this goes. Round three's finale. Round one, Ooh, Blanca taking a tiger uppercut to the face. Dodging the fireballs. Trying to use some electricity, thinking that Sagat's gonna come in, but Sagat's always always ranged, but the Blanca ball, baby. Oh dude, 
Not the face. He has enough scars, Blanca. Come on, man. He's been through a lot. He doesn't need to lose another eye. The Blanca ball helping cross the gap there. Ooh, Sagat barely misses getting electrocuted. Blanca's got that speed. Oh, he hits him with the electricity. Our first time seeing it at the tournament. The Blanca ball. The Blanca ball is his greatest weapon. Right? You gotta use the Blanca ball. You gotta fear and respect that Blanca ball. He's using it over and over again, which is very helpful in this fight against the guy. He's using a lot of lightning. Did he just walk under that tiger fireball, dude? He just walked under it. That's wild. Is he not tall enough for it? That's a that's a game changer right there. Sagat's too tall for Blanca. Hey, look. You gotta be this short to ride the ride. The Blanca ride, Sagat. This is a... Oh, this is not going so well for you, Sagat. I'm sorry, Simon. Use those legs! Hey, look, he can come back right now. But he can't. Because of that Blanca ball. You can't stop it. Liv's kids are winning the fight right now. He's stoked. He is feeling himself. Blanca is just... Doing, doing the, the deed. But he's getting into his own head right now. They're both kind of just sitting there watching each other. They're matching each other up right now, trying to see what, who's going to make the first move. Blanca is being a lot more uh, conservative this round, and Sagat is taking major advantage. He's got the hunch advantage. It's that haunch. Trying to use a super. Blocked easily by Sagat. That was a very telegraphed super. What is Blanca doing? He's just kind of standing there. Eating fireballs. Sagat gets a win. So, is Sagat going to take advantage of that momentum? That change in momentum? Poking him. Getting some pokes. Some elbow pokes. Blanca... Coming back with the Blanca Ball. He's, he remembers what brought him here. What got him this far. Blanca Balls. Day and night. I love the back the back walk for Blanca. He's just, he's just doing a little dance. But he's stuck in the corner now. That's where Sagat wants you to be. Blanca's got his, uh, his super, though. Is he going to use it? He's got to use it to, to really punish Sagat. Sagat's got that life lead. Time is ticking. There we go, the big pokes, the big combos. We love to see it. Oh my gosh, Blanca takes it 3-1. Look at you, Blanca. That was beautiful. Wow, I'm happy for Blanca right now. I'm very happy for Blanca. Blanca, folks believed, folks believed in him. I believed in him too. The Blanca ball is indeed where it's at. Oh no, that's Sagat right now. He's dancing around. He's getting all uncomfortable. All right, folks. So, let's look at the finale of round three. Blanca got a big win against Sagat, putting him at two and one. Sagat, sadly, he's one of the few, oops, one of the few that is O oh and three. Surprising. Sagat is a high tier character. People love Sagat. He is not performing well in the tournament tonight. The current leaders going into round four Ryu, Kami, Vega, and M. Bison, all 3 0. Only two competitors are 2 and 1 Blanca and DJ. 1 and 2, Ken. Guile, Chen Li, Yi Honda, Dalsim, Fei Long, Balrog, Zangief. Only two competitors are 0 and 3. T Hawk and surprisingly Sagat. Sakura, you're here! Sakura, Chun Li got robbed. Chun Li versus Ryu lost the fight. It's a shame, but don't worry. She's 1 and 2 right now, but so are almost everyone else in the roster right now. 
So don't feel too bad, Sakura. Everybody is kind of losing right now. There's only... How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six competitors of the 16 have a winning record right now. Six of the 16 have a winning record. That was a delight. Now, let me get a drink of water, and then we're going to start round four, okay? I'm going to be right back. I'll be right back. Let's go, folks. The next round begins. Round four. We're probably going to do five rounds tonight. Or, not five rounds, but get to round f get through round five tonight. Um, the beginning match for round four are Owen 3 Mexico native, T-Hawk, versus the 1 and 2, Fei Long. T-Hawk versus Fei Long. Now here's the thing, folks. T-Hawk's gotta win a fight one time, right? He's got to. Right? He can't go 0 and 4. Fei Long, a big, big fighter. Let's see who's gonna win. Round four it round four has player two in the home field. So, he's got the speed, but he's also fragile. I think T-Hawk might just overpower him with enough accidental hits this time. Because there's the thing. Fei Long doesn't have any projectiles, right? If T-Hawk just plays it safe and plays conservatively, waiting for those openings to just grab him and spin him, he'd win. He'd win easy, you know? So, I don't know. That's the big question. A lot of people believing in Fei Long right now. Some some channel points are gonna go big for those who believe in T Hawk. T Hawk going full ass take on his ass. I believe so, Sakura. I'm with you. Look, <clears throat> the simulations show a different story for T Hawk for me. I've seen T Hawk do some major wins. We're gonna find out though, aren't we? We're gonna go see. We are going. Hong Kong. T Hawk versus Fei Long. I bet in T Hawk, which means Fei Long will win, says Todd. Don't be like that, Todd. You were robbed on the E Honda fight. T Hawk using his using his uh his eagle attack. There we go. 
big hit. Look at the damage that does. T-Hawk's keeping the pace in. He's keeping himself away from the big combos that Fei Long's known to do. You need to stay away until it's time to strike. Bison doesn't rob people. He beats them. <laughs> oh, but Fei Long got some major combos. That hurt. And, oh, oh Fei Long takes that first round. I'm glad you're enjoying Lost Ox Arc Road. That is, sounds like it was a lot of fun. Okay, Phelan gets that first hit with an uppercut. t -Hawk's giving little pokes here and there. He's kind of not knowing what to do here. There we go. And that life lead now is long diminished for Phelan. Like, all it takes is a good throw. All it takes is one. Phelan's keeping himself on the ground right now. He's seeing T-Hawk going up in the air like that, jumping around all crazy. And he's just waiting for that time to strike. He's reading him good. Should have kept the speed strat, Simon. But Tia's got a super right now. If he can land that super, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a dead Fei Long. Oh, see? Fei Long's playing it smart. He's doing what T Hawk should be doing. Right? Fei Long is waiting. He's patient, playing the patient game. You think, oh, it's the speed, Simon, but in reality, it's just the patience. Fei Long has been patient this fight. And that's won him over. t not capitalizing on those blocked specials. He's trying to get in too, and, and Fei Long is really just keeping his distance. Come on, t you gotta throw him. You gotta throw him. There we go. Some major hits there for T-Hawk. But he, he judged short. The distance on his uh, soaring eagle. That's it. That's it, T Hawk. Yeah. Oh man, T Hawk can't catch a break. He really can't catch a break. That was a quick and easy game. We all saw it coming. T Hawk just didn't have what it took. I feel like the T Hawk AI is busted. <laughs> I feel like the T-Hawk AI is busted. Fei Long is now 2-2. Two two. T-Hawk, a sad 0-4. A sad 0-4. That was embarrassing. It's like they'll see him air that doesn't do the stretchy. Yeah, I tossed 15 at him for early X. Oh, for your game. Nice. Bozo wasn't even in Spain. You did give Feilong the home field advantage. One you won't afford Vega. Simon, it's a different story there. Vega gets more things that make him unaccessible. He could just hang out on the cage and not get hit. Can't hit him out of the cage. And the AI doesn't know what to do. Not fair. Not fair for the other opponents. We ain't doing that. But what we are doing, folks, this is going to be a tough one. One and two, both of them, right now, underperforming in the tournament, Ken versus Chun-Li. Ken versus Chun-Li. Who's going to win this fight? This is a tough call. One minute. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. One and two. Both. Chun-Li, a very good fighter. So is Ken. Bad matchups. Ken lost to Guile and Ryu. One against Zangief. Chun-Li lost to Ryu and then Bison won against Sagat. Can she echo a victory against Ken? It's not Ken music, Curse Celeste, it's Chun-Li music today. We did Ken's home already. When Ken lost to Guile. Let's see who's gonna win. A lot of people believing in Ken right now. A lot of people believing in Ken. 
6,000 to 3,000. A lot more Ken betters. Ken music is tied to Ken. Ergo, I put bogus bucks on Ken. No, it's not going to be at Ken's home. It's Chun Li's. We go to player two's home in the next round. We we go each round. It's back and forth. Player one home, player two home. Curse Lesh, I think you misplaced your bet. Chun Li tries any of that wall jump stuff. Ken can just show you her out of the air. But she doesn't do that wall jump stuff, Simon. So what is it then? Oh, but she eats a Shoryuken in the face. She loves to do that. She just loves to do her flippy dip kick. And she loves the poke. She loves to jump in quick pokes. Just keep blocking. Keep blocking. He's always going to do that third. Oh, he eats a spinning bird kick in the face. Oh, she gets him. She finally capitalized on a missed Shoryuken. He again, a very premature super. What was he thinking? I don't entirely know. Oh, she jumps over the hurricane kick. He's gonna do another. There you go, capitalize, yes! Punish. Ken's got a super meter back up again. She hits him at the tail end of the spinning bird kick. Those tail feathers right now. Oh, Chun-Li capitalizing. Capitalizing and punishing those missing shurikens. Using the shurikens way too much to exactly praise. And Chun-Li is like, I'm not having it. If it wasn't for those, she would have uh, had a much difficult, more difficult fight. But she got so many openings. And she took advantage of them. She loves her little poke, her two-hit combo poke. There we go! Wow! Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Ken is starting to learn how to fight that. But again, he just likes... He's, he's a showboater. Eating the fireballs. Chun-Li. Going two rounds to nothing so far. Premature is Ken's middle name. I'm Ken Premature Masters. What a fight, man. Chun-Li's getting her mojo back right now. How Chun-Li got her groove back. Oh, you knew a third one's coming, Chun-Li. There you go. Just toss him to the ground. Okay, Ken's doing his footsies, what he should be doing. That's a good thing for Ken. She's spinning bird, kicks herself out of the corner. Oh, she walks right into the super. That chicken cage is loving. Chicken in the cage is loving this fight. He's loving it. He's having a time of his life right now. The washerwoman's like, what the hell is going on over there? Oh no, the life is evened up right now, but she throws him! Chun-Li goes 3-0 and oh in that fight. Good job, Chun-Li. Look, I'm not losing to another Hadouken boy. She learned her lesson. She's not losing to another Hadouken boy. Wow, man. The Chun-Li folks are making some bank right now. That's a good win for Chun-Li. Sakura's Chun-Li right there. With a win against Ken. Ken gets the loss. Putting him... At one and three, and so uh, Sakura's Chun Li at two and two. You love to see it. You love to see it. Simon is Simon. You gotta take a break. You gotta take a breather. Sit this one out. Need to use her proper name, bogus. What Thunder Thighs? <laughs> Thunder Thighs. Two and two right now. Coming back after some dramatic, debilitating losses. But now, folks, now, we get into the danger zone. Cammy. Balrog. Three and zero oh versus one and two. You would think this is Cammy, uh, an easy win for Cammy. I don't think that's the case. Balrog's got some stuff. Balrog won't win, but I gotta believe. Chris Lesh, I think I'm with you. 
It's already done, says Urban Artifact Beer. The, the hubris. The hubris. Right now. Easy one for Cammy. not that I'm putting money on it. This time. This might be a surprise fight. I think this is going to be a surprise fight. Let's go. Let's go. I believe. I believe in Balrog. 12k right now on Cammy. Only 1k on Balrog. She'll go low under all of Balrog's punches. No way. No way. She's going to go high and right into him. High and right into him. But in on Cammy, she's brave wearing that swimsuit in a fight for the world. Just like how Blanca went under all of Sagat's fireballs. Oh yeah, Balrog is a low punch too that a lot of people forget about. Praise is right. Praise is putting down some money on Balrog. I love to see a team Balrog here. We're going to Vegas, baby. The world of lights, glitz, and glamour. Kame is going to be blinded by the light. Here we go. All right, already some major uppercuts coming, but she just goes and suplexes him right out of it. Two. Oh, she, oh, she's stunned. Balrog. Oh. Oh, she's stunned. She's stunned. The glitz and glamour right now. She doesn't know how to process the lights. She's blinded by the lights, wrapped up like a douche in another rumor in the night. That was fierce right out of the gate. Eating Cammy for breakfast. All right, she's getting some pokes in. She's playing a little more conservatively. She's just waiting for a time to strike. Getting a couple hits in here and there. Goes in for a big throw. She had Balrog in the corner there. He didn't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Answering back with the suplex. We love to see it. Cammy's showing some confidence. She's not looking to be... She's, she's starting to really respect her opponent. Using those cannon drills are really helpful for her in this situation. Doing some jabs to no avail. Jumping to avoid the cannon drill, but he's stuck in that corner. He needs to get out of there. There we go. Putting her in the corner now. Doing some jabs. Oh, she goes low. You guys are right about that low. It's not over yet. We've seen it. Oh, but she's downloading him. She's a smart CPU. She knows. She knows his moves. She's toying with him right now. Oh, nice jump dodge by Balrog. They're going back and forth in the corner, but oh, she takes the second round. It's not over yet. First one was Balrog chewing straight through a cam sandwich, but the second one was Cammy's cannon Balrog. Started hot, but he's cooling down for sure. I think that Balrog's just just playing the odds. He's he's betting on himself. He's taking a dive. No, betting on her. He's taking the dive. Oh my gosh. Cammy's using the stuff that she wasn't using in that first fight, that first round. Oh, some big ones for Balrog there. There we go. Using his moves effectively to get her out of the air. There we go. That's the Balrog we like to see. Yes! Answering back with a fervor. We're going to round five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Here we go. This is a fight right now. Praise wants to make bank. Praise wants to make some money. Oh, but Cammy's doing the flip and dip and grabbing that neck, spinning it around. Oh no, Balrog's in the corner, baby. This isn't good. Cammy's gonna win this round if he doesn't play it smart. Use those moves. Do some jabs. Yes. Oh, but she gets a big throw on him. This is, is this it for Balrog? It is. It is. Oh. Cammy Cammy was, you know what? Here's the thing. Cammy wasn't showboating. Usually when she wins, she shows off the butt. She throws the peace sign. Big old grin. Here, nope. She's like, this is business. She took that fight seriously. She's like me, only knows how to cheese one move. She is unstoppable. Cammy wins again. That was a close fight. A round of applause for Balrog, though. Come on now, he made that a fight. And you could tell she took that seriously. She knew, she respected.
the Balrog there. She said you shall not pass. That's what she said. All right, Cammy gets another win, another win. Of course she does. That's just who she is. Balrog loses again. Putting him at one and three. Cammy being four and oh. Jeez. He did his best. If he'd come prepared, he would have done better. Balrog came out swinging. If he could have blocked more like a classic Balrog shit, he would have won that fight for sure. He's using the block and punish exactly praising. There's some instances where he was really utilized timing his moves perfectly right to counter a lot of her specials and her mobility, right? And he wasn't doing that in that se uh, that second round. That second round was really crucial and just couldn't pull through. All right. Next up. This is going to be good. A 3 and 0 oh versus a 1 and 2. But a beloved 1 and 2. We got right white bread Ryu versus Edmund Honda. White Bread Ryu versus Edmund Honda. You have one minute. Gotta go with Ryu on this one. No way. I believe in E Honda. I believe in E Honda. I believe in him. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big one. A big one. I feel like this is Ryu's game to lose. We all like to think, oh, easy. Ryu's got this in the bag. E Honda, baby. E Honda. He's faster in the game's protagonist and he's a top tier tournament choice. No way, Simon. You put money on Ryu, you're going to lose that money. That's all I'm saying. I believe in E Honda. That's where my money's going. That headbutt is going to make him spin. Battle for the land of the rising sun, indeed. It's the real question. Todd believes. Honda can't slap if he can't get close. I'm going to not put money on Ryu. That's how I know he'll win. Sakura's a Honda person herself. Well, we're going back to the bathhouses. Honda keeps getting that home advantage. You love to see it. I love the song. I love... This is one of my favorite stages. The bath. Headbutt out the gate. Look at that. But he's eating, he's eating fireballs. Not a good, oh, he's stunned already. Oh, and he takes a big kick to the face. Mani Honda, you gotta not walk into the fireballs. Respect him. But you do gotta realize, guys, that coming hot out the gate like Ryu is right now is not always the best. That does not mean that you will win the fight, as Balrog clearly showed. Bathhouse is an S tier stage. Todd, yes. Yes. Big headbutt with the first attack for E-Honda. There we go. Use those headbutts conservatively. Use them to get yourself in. Block the fireballs, E-Honda. What are you doing? He's eating the fireballs. There we go. Finding that opening, blocking the fireballs, and capitalizing. You gotta block the fireballs, E-Honda. Oh no, E Honda, he loves eating. E Honda's favorite meal is a fireball sandwich. Come on, E Honda. Oh, and Ryu with the quick throw. Like, just getting the distance to throw more fireballs down for E Honda to eat. He likes it spicy. Oh, he just. Just went for a headbutt and opened his mouth wide. The hundred hand slap! We don't see it very often. Changing up his routine right now to try to get in on Ryu. You gotta jump over those, buddy. Can't just block fireballs all day. Oh no. Oh no. No contest. No contest indeed, praise. My goodness. 
easy money for you. Jeez Louise. Look. Look. There's a line in the sand right now. Ryu and Kami undefeated. Four and four. Four and oh. Both. Wild. No one can beat Ryu. There's a long vertical line of red in the in the uh, leaderboards. You had to bet against Ryu on principle. I'm with you, Lip. Dwarven Dad is is looking sitting pretty right now. The two big winners right now, Dwarven Dad, Kununo Oni. You'll love to see it. And remember this. Remember this. Ryu was such a late stage pick. That was going to be end up being mine if nobody took that slot. And Dwarven Dad swooped in at the last second to take it. That's how bad it was. Alright. It's time for the mid-round recap. Let's take a look, shall we? Here it is. Ryu 4 and O. Oh. Nice long line of green and a nice big column of red. Ken, 1 and 3. Only one against Zangief. Lost against Ryu, Guile, and Chun Li. Chun Li with a big win. She needed it. She's 2 and 2 now. Ihanda won against Sagat, but so has everybody. Everybody's won against him. Poor dude. Can't catch a break. But he lost to Ryu. Kami can't be stopped. She can't be stopped. Look at her. Teahawk, Feilong, Balrog, Zangief. All down. But look at this, folks. Teahawk's 0-4. Think he's only one and two. She's winning against the bottom of the barrel. How is she gonna go against a chant? Can he even win against himself? It's a good class, good good question. But now we're moving on to the next set of fights. Number eight, DJ. Number thirteen, Vega. DJ. Got a debilitating loss. He's 2 and 1. Vega, 3 and 0. Oh. Let's go see how this is going to go. DJ versus Vega. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him on. Put your money on the table. DJ Vega. One minute. Let's go. Clearly, we need a mirror match bonus round. Curtis Lesh, we might do a Vega bonus round on the Vega stage. Curtis Lesh, that's what we're going to do. At the end? Absolutely. Simon's believing in Vega. Put that money down, Simon. I want to see you put that money where your mouth is. I want to know. Let's see. I want you to show me. Prove it. Prove it. Gotta go Vega as well. As much as I hate him. Only a couple people are believing in DJ right now. But DJ got his loss against a very beefy Balrog. That's all I'm saying. Vega won against who? E Honda, Blanca, and Dulcim. The weirdos. The 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 C list roster. The C-list roster. How's he going to do against a real team? He doesn't get to go to Spain. We're going back to Jamaica. Sorry, folks. Just how it is. Professor Pell says, I'll throw a little money on DJ just for the payout. Exactly. Play the odds. Look at the start. DJ. DJ confident right now. Look at this. Is he going to get a perfect on him? Is he going to get a perfect... Is he going to get a, our first perfect of the tournament? No! Vega denies him that perfect. But Vega takes a little Sonic Boom to the face. Impressive start for DJ. But we also saw Balrog with an impressive start against Kami. So we know what that means. Vega's getting more aggressive now. He's coming back with a vengeance. He downloaded the moves. 
This is how it always goes. Is this a code in in the the AI? Like, does it just know this? Round one, guy wins handedly. Round two, not so much. Oh, the big machine gun punch! Oh, he's downloading Vega. Wow. But the super. Oh, the super. Wow. What a super. What a super! Here we go. TJ's getting back into this. He's getting more aggressive. He's not going to take that lightly. That that was... He was trying to get embarrassed there. Vega was trying to get him embarrassed. And it's not working. TJ's coming back. He knows what's going on. He's stuck in the corner, but he's using his, his fireballs. Takes out the... Takes out the claw! Where's the claw at? Is the claw gone? Where did it go? I think he broke the claw. But Vega doesn't need that claw. He doesn't need it. He's like, no, claw small. He's just gonna suplex his way to victory. Holy smokes. He doesn't need a claw. Apparently he doesn't need it. But, oh, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Look at the light. Oh my God, Vega. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see the life? Just a sliver of health. Holy crap. Come on, DJ. You can make that comeback. You can do this, buddy. You were doing so well. Oh, no. Vega's just doing the flipping and the dipping, though, right now. He got his claw back. How Vega got his claw back? Involved a lot of wine, self-reflection, and, and re relying on your best friends. Ooh, the machine gun punch. Oh, the keys. Oh, my God, DJ. Come on. Stay alive, buddy. You gotta stay alive. Oh, he shattered the claw again. And the mask. DJ's back. We're going to round five. He shattered it all. DJ. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Round five, baby. It's all down to this. DJ is the comeback king. Making this an interesting game. Oh, the, the aerial suplexes, though, are so devastating. Come on, DJ. Oh, the aerial suplexes, but we saw it before. We saw it before. Machine gun punches. Some awesome kicks. Anything can happen here. Oh, come on, DJ. You can do this, buddy. DJ, you got your super. Now's the time to use it. We've never really used it. Oh, no! He's... Oh, no! He's lost. Nothing on that throw. He can't defend it. Oh, Mega. Mega does it again. Vega does it again. I can't wait for the four and O's to come against each other. Really. I'm so excited to see those fights. Wow, man. Praise give me them bucks, baby. Vega is top, but come on. Come on. You can't. Oh. Is anyone going to be able to take him down? Because that was, oh, that was so good. That was so good. That was a brilliant fight. It's wild. Wild. They continue, the winners continue to win. Everybody else continues to languish. DJ's two and two, tied with chun Lin right now. But Ryu, Kami, Vega, all four and oh. Dwarven Dad's Ryu, Kununoni's Kami, Praise the Sun's Vega, all Four and O. Oh. It's closer than it had any right to be. Closer than it had any right to be. <sighs> Next up. Our one and two. Guile. Let's pour one out for uh, Gunstar here. He's got to get another win. He needs it. Versus our one and three. Zangith. Who's going to win? Guile? Zangief. One minute. Who's going to win this? This is... This is... Who? <clears throat> Both one and two. Zangief got a win against 
T-Hawk. Guile got a win against Ken. Guile lost to Ryu and then Bison. Zangief lost to Kami and Ryu er and Ken. Yes. I'm rooting for XCOM. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Who's gonna win? Where's the numbers? What are y'all what are y'all doing right now? People are indecisive here. People are holding tight to their money right now. They don't know what to say. 2,000 for Zangief. 1, 1. 1.8 to Guile. Soldiers in the original XCOM computer game all had Guile's haircut. Did they really? That's hilarious. All right. Folks are being a little reticent to put their money down. We're getting to the home of the big bear. Bear Daddy in Russia. Guile versus Zangief. The USA versus the Soviet Union. Oh, Zangief starts off with a big old smush. Look at that. The spinning lariat. Giving him the stinky hand. Spinning pile driver. What's Guile gonna do? Can't stop it. You can't stop the big aerial suplex. Look at that beautiful suplex. That was wackadoo. Ha <laughs> ha, Zangief! Nick needs some wins too. So who's, I mean, that's the thing. Poor Gunstar, poor Nick. There's that Geef bullshit exactly praise. Guile will die. Oh, he's coming back. Guile's getting some gumption. Use it. Hey, look, Geef, you can you can uh, do some throws. So can Guile. Except for that one. That was a bad throw. That was, oh, that was rough. Zane Geef did like all throws that round. Soviet Russia. Man, the Soviet Union is is winning big time here. It's a win for the Soviet Union. Fights like a <laughs> oh mutton. That Padre is gonna <laughs> must the G man's hair. Wow, there we go. It's just been throws. Guile's just been trying to to go toe to toe in the throw department, and you can't do that. You can't do that. Wow. What a wild win for Zangief, man. That was huge. That was a blowout. I was not expecting a blowout of that proportion. What was Guile to do? What was Guile to do? Didn't stand a chance. That, you hate to see it. I feel bad. Poor, uh, poor Gunstar right now. Guy can't catch a break. Robbed. He laughed all the way to the vodka. All right. Next up. We have the one and two. Dalsim versus the O and three. Sagat. It's like Zangief never saw Rocky IV. He's supposed to lose to the American. No, not not Zangief, man. He'll never, he'll never give in like that. Dalsim versus Sagat. The battle. India versus Thailand. This is Sagat's first win, baby. Praises, believe in it. Stretchy legs versus long legs. Fireball versus fire. Yoga fire. Like, who's it gonna be? One eye versus blank eyes. Oh, man. The points were even, but somebody put some big money down on Sagat right now. 4.5k for Sagat. Oh, more money's going on. 3k on Dalsim right now. This is a beautiful, beautiful matchup. It's, oh, it's anyone's game. This, 1,000 on Sagat. Let's go, says Praise. Praise believes on the underdog. I have to sponsor Sagat at least 2k per fight, right? Exactly, Simon. Exactly. Exactly. All right. We are going to Thailand. It's like putting it in the small blind in poker. 
I'm an Eagles fan. Of course I bet on the underdog. Exactly, Praise. I respect it. I'm a Lions fan. I know how you feel. Delzine's poking. He, those slides are such an effective thing. His slides and dive kicks seem to be working real well for him as an AI. A lot of good defense from both sides right now. Everybody's blocking a lot. Just building up that super meter for Sagat right now. His super meter is almost full. Ooh, the big tiger knee. Oh, Dalsim with a good throw. Oh, I really don't even know what to think here. I don't know what to think here. I really don't know who's going to win this fight. It could be Dalsim. Sagat can't seem to catch a break. Sagat can't catch a break. You go. Zone him, Sagat. What are you doing? He's doing tiger uppercuts right now. That's what he's doing. He's caring more about the uppercuts than the knees. How do you zone a teleporter? Well, a teleporter that's not teleporting. He's just sliding under the uh, fireballs. That's what's happening. They'll seem just sliding under the fireballs. There we go. Sagat gets a solid tiger knee in the face for Dalsim. Hit him with the uppercuts, using his moves to full effect as he is wont to do. Almost got that full super meter. He's not afraid to use it. Ooh, big fireball for Sagat. Uppercut takes the round handedly. One at one right now between the two. Tiger knees going all over the place right now. We don't see a lot of tiger knees in this world. Go, Bob! Bob. Alright. So, God's got a tiny... Oh, no, he doesn't have a life lead now. Dalsim's got a tiny life lead. Oh, he's getting he's getting the slide again. Dalsim using that slide, which is so effective so far. It has done wonders for him. <laughs> Go, Bob, say it. <laughs> Dalsim with the throw takes the third round. Oh, doing the dance. He's doing the dance. Oh, there you go. He's doing the dance. Takes the tiger up to the face. But Dalsim gets those big throws. The CPU is completely abandoning Sagat. I know. Sagat's like top tier too. He's broken good, but the AI is just not using him. There we go, Tiger Knee over the Yoga Fire. There we go, Sagat. You're starting to believe. He was once a boss to be feared. But, man, look. He got a dragon punch to the chest and a big old scar. Look, folks. The fights have been one-sided all the way across the board, back and forth. We're in round five now, though. We keep tr just dogging on Sagat, but look at this. He's made it to round five. Look, folks, this might be his first win. Oh, he just eats a yoga flame in the face. Sagat doesn't know what to do. Okay, use those tigers. Use those tigers. Zone them out. Look, the, the number one zoner is Ryu right now, Sagat. You could do that. You could be that. Oh, he knew to jump to get away from those slides. Those slides. Stay away from the slides! He hit him with the super! Oh, he didn't kill! It wasn't enough! Oh my god. Oh, Sagat gets his first win! Ah! Oh, Saget. It's not Saget. Come on now. Tiger win. Holy crap! Wow. I'm, I'm proud for the people who believed in him. Good job, Sagat. You got your first win, buddy. Shere Khan devours Mowgli. I love it. Oh, no, Simon. <laughs> I called it Sagat's first win. Called it. He looks so small comparatively. Wow. Sagat finally gets one. He's one in three. Dalsim, one and three. Sagat finally gets a much needed win. It's it's about dang time. That's for sure. One and three for those two. 
big win for some folks. Time to exercise. Good luck, Balrog. And have fun, y'all. Chris, let's have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy your exercise. Wow. That was wild. The last fight of the fourth round. Blanca, who's two and one. Versus M. Bison. Two and one versus three and zero. Oh. Blanca, unpredictable. Mike Bison has got the home advantage. I just dropped my controller. Oh. Ghost alone. Let's go, baby. Bison has this. Psycho crush those Blanca balls. Oh shoot, I, st I did that way too early. Hold on, we're gonna pause. I was too excited. Okay, we'll let this run its course. Listen to the music though. Ghost Alone or Van Damme or whatever. <laughs> Street Fighter 2's best dressed fighter versus the least dressed warrior. Hey. You don't need to wear clothes when you've been raised by electric eels as a boy, okay? You just don't. You don't need it. Not many people believe in Blanca. There we go. Let's get some numbers back up for Blanca. You guys gotta win some money because Blanca's gonna win this. Let's watch this. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Blanca jumping in first. Blanca ball. Blanca ball's always a good sign. Oh, the Blanca ball is shutting Bison down right now. He's using that Blanca Ball to great effect. Blocking the aerial shenanigans. Blanca Balling through Bison Psycho Crusher. I'm hemorrhaging money betting on the underdogs. Urban Artifact Beer, I think this is going to be your time to shine. Blocking the super for Blanca. We'd love to see it. But he's eating some of those slides. Those kicks, those big bison kicks that we love to see. Oh, he answers back with a super, but bison blocks it, but it gives Blanca just a little bit of life lead, but he's wasted at the last second. Bison takes the round. Bison wins. Round two. Wow. What an opening round. Blanca ball. Been very helpful. It helped him in the beginning of that first round. He was not using it as much as he was in the latter half of that first round. Eating the Psycho Crushers again. They love to eat the Psycho Crushers later on. Use that electricity. Yes. There we go, Blanca. He takes a bicycle kick, though, right to the face. Another one. The, the M. Bison bicycle kick is so insanely good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Praise has picked a winner here. Praise has picked a winner. Can Blanca make a comeback? Urban Artifact Beer is hurting in the Buckazoid department. Wife and kids crying in the streets right now. The mortgage. Bet the house. Come on, Blanca. There you go. Getting some major momentum there with some hits. Blocking the Psycho Crusher. Always a good thing to do. Oh, blocks the super. Good job blocking the super. Oh, he got an electricity trade. We love to see those. Oh, no. Oh, the life right now. Oh, the psycho crusher. Oh, the psycho crusher. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You gotta realize, Blanca was right there every time. He was right there every time. I feel like Blanca can't catch a break right now. He can't catch a break. That's another big win for Bison. That's the end of round four. Let's take a look at the uh, the stats here, shall we? 
M. Bison gets a big win against Blanca. Blanca takes the L. Absolute shame. Blanca's now 2-2. Two two. Mike Bison at a whopping 4-0. Again, the winners. 4-0, undefeated. Ryu, Kami, Vega, Bison. Stays the same. But the middle of the pack starting to differentiate itself. Chun Li is two and two. Blanca's two and two. DJ's two and two. Fei Long two and two. Zhang Yif two and two. He was 0 three or 0 and two in the beginning of this. He's won both of his matches. Ken Guile E Honda Delsim Balrog Sagat one and three. But look, Sagat. Got his first win. Good for him. T-Hawk, the only one sitting at 0-4. I'm so sorry, Edgar. The T-Hawk pick. I'm not going to lie. I thought T-Hawk was going to do fantastic. Thought it was going to do fantastic. We're going to go another round. We're going to do round five. I'm going to get a drink of water. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Praise is such a great idea for a stream. Wish I thought of it first. Praise. Don't worry. We'll see some more of these too. Don't forget, folks. Prizes are on the line here. Root for your CPU. Believe in them. Right now. <clears throat> look. The fight is still going. But. There are Prizes. We might be given some big prizes for folks. I'm glad you're loving this prize because I'm loving this too, my friend. I think this is so good! I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some water. And we'll be right back, okay? Stay tuned. All right, folks. Hi. We're back. We're going to do round five. And then um, we'll see if we do any Jones in the fast lane to wind down. I might just wait until next week when we play it. We'll see. All right. Next up in the rankings. We have oh, one in three. Guile versus the two and two Chun Li. Who's it gonna be? Guile's got the home field advantage here. We're gonna hear his theme. Oops. Wow, no. Not Mike Bison. Chun Li. We're gonna listen to the Guile theme though for this. 
Look at him, he's mad. He's so mad. He's so mad right now. He's so mad that he's been losing so much. Hold on, that's my camera. He's been losing a bunch. Only won one match. He has won against Ken, lost against Zangief, M. Bison, and Ryu. Two foreign owers. Chun Li, won against Ken, won against Sagat, lost to Ryu and M. Bison. Can Thunder Thighs eke out a victory here and put her at 3 and 2? A really nice spot to be in considering the state of the tournament as we speak. Because she is, right now, in second place. Tied with Blanca, DJ, Fei Long, and Zangief. Two of the hardest hitters. So let's see how it's going to go. We're going to the US of A. Come on, Thunder Thighs. I believe in you. I think she has the speed advantage and just combo him to death. Absolutely. Guile's AI is something else. He likes to throw a lot. Oh, he did a nice flash kick to counter the spinning bird kick. He doesn't do the, the zoning of Sonic Boom, which is really good for him. Typically, but he's using it right now. Using those Sonic Booms effectively. Chun-Li's eating him. Let's see how this goes. She's using a lot of spinning bird kicks, which is really risky, but you know what? It's paid off so far. She's got her super meter filled. Waiting for the time to strike to jump over the Sonic Booms to get in. Doing nothing with it. Using some strong sweeps. There we go. It's real close here, but we know that anything can happen. He's got his super too, and he loves to use it. Oh, she's eating the Sonic Booms! Guile gets a win! Chun Li, what were you doing? Oh no, he's getting cocky though. He's getting cocky. You know the hubris, the, that American hubris. He's gonna regret his words and deeds with that. She was eating Sonic Boom. She was hungry for a Sonic Boom sandwich. Guile's getting now into the zone mode. He's trying to zone her out. He's already got a super meter. Oh no, the suplex. He's doing the stuff he's supposed to be doing. He's playing like Guile's supposed to play. Oh! She got she got a little taste of the super, but didn't go all in on that platter. There we go. Using her, her fireballs in those moments when he's walking forward. There we go. Chun, come on! You got your super, Chun Li. Use it! Oh, she does a nice little kick. Wow. 1-1 one, one between the two. Kogan! <laughs> there we go. Getting, she's, getting, she's getting some gumption. In the balls. <laughs> gumption in the balls. The suplex from Guile. It hurts. But Chun-Li's trying to get in close now. She's ready. She's not going to let him zone her out. But he keeps, keeps that distance with the suplex. Offered him that opportunity to take a step back, zone her out with some sonic booms. Because the AI loves to eat the projectiles sometimes. It just happens randomly. Ooh, nice anti-air. Oh, from Chun-Li. Yes, again! She's got her super. She tried to use her thunder thighs. Wow. She just walks into the Sonic Boom! Let's see. Praise, I think you're fine. Bison's near the end of this round, so you'll be okay. Oh no! Guile's taking down Chun-Li! Is he? You can't, you can't bet on it. But she's just letting him Sonic Boom her. Oh, the suplex to finish the round. Oh my gosh, Chun was making Todd. DJ is two and two. He lost to Balrog and Vega. 
I'm sorry, Todd. I'm sorry. He almost beat Vega. It was so crazy close. Look, the, the betters bet on Guile, and they won. They believed in him. That was a big win for him. <clears throat> the Chun-Li AI gave up. Not like this, Chun. Not like this. So she gets the L. Guile gets another big W. He's happy about that. He's now two and three. Chun-Li, same boat. Two and three. Again, the stars align. And everybody, the equilibrium is establishing itself once more. Professor Peril won some, won some money. Hey, good to hear. My military brother in arms keeping me in the black. <laughs> All right. Next fight. Owen 4. The only Owen 4. Hasn't won a match yet. Our man T Hawk. Versus. Balrog. Balrog, who is currently 1 in 3. Now listen. You may think, oh, it's an easy win for uh, Balrog. But look at the stats. Balrog lost to Blanca, Dalsim, and Cammy. T Hawk lost to DJ, Cammy, Fei Long, and Zangief. Big up and comers, established pros. It's an easy loss for T Hawk, says Simon. I don't know. T-Hawk's got that eagle, that soaring eagle, that can go over so much of Balrog's moves. And he likes to use it, too. That's another big thing. He's also got that rising knee, too. This is a tough one. Not a lot of folks are putting any money down on this one. They don't know. They don't know how to feel. T-Hawk's only got 756 on him. Balrog's only got 500. Everybody's been losing money tonight. No one knows what to say. No one knows. Well, we're going to find out soon. We're going back to the glitz and glamours of Vegas. As soon as Balrog blocks the Flying Eagle, Balrog should uppercut him. Could go either way. Everyone's too scared to put their money down on this one. Oh, a big combo by T-Hawk. He's, he's getting his first win. He's getting his first W. I believe in T-Hawk. Oh, just going for a straight throw there. Didn't want to go do his command grabs. T-Hawk's seen the glitz and glamour of Vegas before, all right? He won big. He's no stranger. He's, no, that's, that's He's no stranger to casinos. That's horribly racist. The golden goose in the back there. Oh, the headbutts, though! T-Hawk loses the first round, but it was close. I was trying to dodge that comparison, <laughs> Simon. Okay, see, there's that, there's that, the Soaring Eagle, man. Misjudged the distance there, Balrog made him pay with a big one, too. I love, like, the homeless guy with the flute in the back. And he's just having a time of his life. The dude in the purple jumpsuit and sweats. Oh, no, T-Hawk. T-Hawk! Balrog just broke his shirt. He needs another one, please. He's got those big workman boots. They're boxers boots, but they look like work with boots to me. I'm sorry. I'm blind. <gasps> Simon, I know that TMNT Tournament Fighters has a CPU versus CPU, Simon. Oh, I know. Oh, Balrog keeps going! There we go! The first time we've seen the command grab from T-Hawk in this fight. 
He needs to use it more often. Can he stay alive? No, he can't. Wow. T-Hawk is still... Wow. Still winless. T-Hawk is still winless. 0-5. Oh wow. Balrog is 2-3 and three now. He's got some wins under his belt. Is he gonna... He's, he's won his, what, his last two? I'm happy for him. But poor T-Hawk. He's never gonna get a win. He's never gonna get a win. Poor Edgar. Poor Edgar. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Poor Edgar. Next up. One in three. Ken? Versus... E Honda. Gunster's watching YouTube right now. He's not watching me. Shame on him. <laughs> Ken versus E Honda. Both one and threes. Ken lost to Ryu, Guile, and Chun Li. One against Zangief. E Honda lost to Ryu, Vega, and M. Bison, the 4-0 club. But he won against Sagat. He's only 1-1. One, one. He's 1-3 one as well. Ken likes to be in the air. Ihanda has some competitive anti-air chops. He's just crushed by Guile's performance. You have not missed Bison. No. But you missed a killer. Uh, which one? Hold on. It was... It was killer? I can't remember. <laughs> Guile versus Chun Li was super crazy close, dude. Kunononi saving for the next battle. Next battle, Kunononi, is a Kami fight. The Guile Chun Li fight was intense. Guile won. So he's two and three. Chun Li, cho she choked so bad. It was actually super bad. They were both slivers of health, like literally pixels. And she just, just ate a sonic boom every time. Every time, it was pretty bad. I felt bad for her. Ken versus Edmund. Let's see how it goes. Ihanda jumping into the dragon punch, but he's deciding to give him the squeeze, a little squeeze. By the Yacht Club. The old Yacht Club's watching right now. Old Man Anderson, with his money bags of Anderson, is watching in the distance. Putting up fisticuffs. E Honda trying to give him a little bit of the headbutt. Trying to, to sit on him. We know Ken's into that. When you're rich, you're into weird things. Like having sumo wrestlers sit on you. But Ihanda not having it, using that powerful chop. Ihanda got beat by a zoner last time. Will it happen again? No. No. That's because Ken doesn't play the zone game. Ken plays Shoryukens. He plays the Shoryuken game. Ihanda missed the chop, though, and he got punished for it. Ken's got his super. He loves to use it, too. Oh, he just... Honda takes a sure you can to the face. Ken stopping the headbutt really effectively here in this fight. I say that as E Honda gets a headbutt in. Oh, a nice throw by E Honda to really eke away that life lead now. And he sits on him! Ken loved it. He let that happen. You know it. He really loves it when a big man sits on his face. He let it happen. Ken, you freak. You may be a black belt, but you really love the brown eye. He's not cheesing like Ryu. <laughs> oh, the hundred hand slap. We love to see it. Oh, he's putting the squeeze. 
Ken's letting him win because he really likes it like this. This is just his, this is kink. He's totally into this. Ken loses zero rounds to three against the Honda. The Honda with a big win. Big win. Wow. People are being stingy with the Buckazoids now. CPU Ken is pretty trash. E Honda with a big win. Ken. Oh, dear sweet Ken. I'm glad E Honda got a win. He needs it. E Honda now, two and three. Ken, two and three. Again, equilibrium strikes. Oh, sorry, one and four. It's one and four. Bam. Oh, you hate to see it. Urban Artifact's literally out. Literally out. Who does a Shoryuken from halfway across the screen? Amateurs, that's who. Almost down 10k. Holy crap. Everybody's losing. Alright. This is the one. I'm, I'm going to stall so you guys can get a couple channel points to put down on this. Because this one is a big one. It's the one we've all been waiting for. Cammy versus Vega. Cammy versus Vega. I'm going so slow so that folks can get some channel points to use. <sighs> Place your bets. Vega, Cammy likes the ground, Vega likes the air. Cammy's a force to be reckoned with, but I gotta support my boy. And they both have a bunch of air throws they love to use. Both Cammy and Vega have air throws. They both love to use them. Who's going to come out on top? I don't know. Holy crap. Someone put 41,500 on Cammy right now. This is... Everybody was waiting for this. They were saving their Buckazoids. 41,000 versus 16,000. I'm sorry. I'm just spinning right now. I'm spinning like a Blanca. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! Wow. 41 to 31. <clears throat> 41. Oh! The last second, Vega takes the lead. 51K on Vega. We're going to the UK. We're going to England. Don't give either the home field advantage. We'll let the fates decide. Reuse Japan stage. No home field advantage for either. Here we go. Oh, look at that. She said, I, I see you're flipping and you're dipping, and I'm going to I'm gonna see you're flipping with some dipping. How the heck do you get all that many Bokasoids? Or Bernard Effect Veer, your Lepilicos. <laughs> Just sits there, hoarding them. I bet you Sakura put some money down too. Look at the life right now. They're both even. Cammy's got her super though. Wow, Vega making some bold aerial moves. Both got their supers. They both like to use them. Oh, but she gets the sweep. Wow. This is a redistribution of wealth here. Throwing out a cannon drill. We like to see some cannon drills. Hitting Vega, breaking signs. You gotta pay for that, Cammy. Oh, Vega. He's she's in Vega's head. She's in Vega's head right now. There you go, Vega. Oh, he can't stop the cannon drill. Wow. There we go. A big aerial suplex. There we go, another!
Oh my god! Vega! Oh my god! No, oh, Vega takes the round! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? He stopped the cannon drill with the claw. You love to see it. The drama. Oh, those. Man, the leg throw. But she had such a life lead for so long. And just a couple aerial suplexes is all it takes. He's playing some footsies with her, keeping her at bay with his claw, but she gets the throw. Using the cannon drill again, which was very effective in that second round, but. Oh my gosh. She's got the life lead, but how long will it last? It's already gone! Oh no! Vega with the aerial suplex! He can't. Yodel it. He yodeled on her. He just yodeled on her. Oh no, he's getting cocky. Cocky. Oh my gosh. No, he's doing the. He's, you know he's gonna do it. You know he's gonna do it, Cammy. There you go. Cannon drills. We like to see him. You gotta use your aerial throws. Cammy, you got aerial throws, you gotta use them! He's got her stuck in the corner right now. No! Cammy, not like this! But she has an OP jump grab too, praise. You can't all be like, yeah, but he's got an OP move. Came so close to a super two. Oh, he hit her, but it didn't do enough damage. Use the super, Cammy. He wins on a timeout. Oh my god. Oh, not like this, Cammy. Not like this. Kunino only put 40,000 down. Vega absolutely cheats. <laughs> Holy crap. Ninety-two thousand six hundred twenty bucks though. It's go to Lepilikos and three others. Wow, Kuno no Oni, I am sorry. I am so sorry. Kami gets her first loss. Vega is still undefeated. Oh. That hurts, Aunt Janice. It hurts. Now the reason Vega's up there with Zangief in my hate list. Kunononi being a consummate professional. Round of applause for Kunononi. The air wasn't hungry enough. It was. Whew. I need. I got a case of the vapors. Whew. Next up, folks. Another undefeated champ. Ryu. Versus the wild card. Sitting at a whopping 2-2 two two right now. Blanca. Y'all think... Y'all think it's easy. Blanca's got the tools to overcome Ryu's fireballs. Right? He's an aerial dude. He loves to jump around. Put your money down. This is where Ryu loses. You know where I stand. You know where I stand. That's my guy. That's my guy. Blanca's my dude. Why the world has not been, you know, inundated 
with an excessive amount of Blanca chans. I don't know. Why didn't they capitalize on that? Why didn't Capcom make a million Blanca chan merchandise? Everybody freaking loved Blanca chan. People still believe in Ryu though. Folks are reeling from that last fight. I'm reeling too. That was intense. Whew. Blanca ball, Blanca ball, Blanca ball! Home of Ryu. Back to Japan again. YouTube Blanca goes to the city. <laughs> Here we go. Starting off strong, Blanca is the trade. We'll trade that all day. But he's eating the Hodokens right now. Come on, Blanca, you gotta move, buddy. There you go. You like to jump. All mutants. We were just talking about Blanca. It's all mutants. There we go, Blanca gets in. Anticipating that Ryu would follow him through. Oh, stands there and takes the fireball. The super, though! Oh, he blocked the super. And he Blanca balls into a Fadoken. Oh my gosh. Ryu takes the first round. Takes the first round. What do you expect? Wow, man. There we go. Somersault against the Eclectic Cloakin. Blanca likes spicy tokens as much as he Honda. Oh no, he's seeing death. Oh, he's seeing death. Oh, poor Blanca. Poor Blanca. Oh, but look at this. Poor Blanca. Poor Blanca. Poor Blanca took the round. He was stunned. He was stunned. Ryu knocks some sense into him. You love to see it. You love to see it. Have to capitalize on the stuns. He didn't. That's his fault. That's Ryu's fault. That's some. That's some. That's a noob move. Oh, Blanca trying to get that Blanca ball. They both got the first attack bonus. The trade, baby. Blanca's got a super. He doesn't use it very often. When he does, it's always blocked. <laughs> oh no, Blanca. Come on, buddy. He's standing there. He doesn't know what to do. He's trying to calculate his next move. There's the super, but you're... Oh, come on! Oh, Ryu! Oh, so... Look at the health bar. Look at the health bar. That's just a... That's a pixel. It's a pixel. It's not even. Where is the health bar? Blanca getting that first attack in. Ryu answering with a throw. The Blanca ball has not been helpful here. Ryu has shut it down. But Blanca just gets a couple hits in and it's like, bam, he's right back into the fight. Ooh, look at that beautiful ball dodge, man. Blanca's got a super again already. Wow, the Blanca ball. Oh my gosh! Come on, Blanca! Come on, Blanca! Yes! Oh, he got it with the stinky cheese! The super move can't be blocked! The chip damage! A win by chip! We're going to round five, baby! Oh, Ryu is not having it. Not happy with this. He's not happy. He's gonna throw and he's gonna throw a lot of fireballs after this. He's so unhappy with it. Oh, Blanca's anticipating it though. Look at the anticipation. He knows. He knows it's coming. He's downloaded him. He is. He is. He is. A, oh my gosh, Blanca! You beautiful beast! Oh come on! Yes, Blanca taking down the Titans. What a wild card! What a wild card! Oh baby! Oh baby! That's all the remotes weren't meant to be there. 
Simon says, I'm glad I went to the bathroom and missed the bedding. Suck it, Ryu. Vega and M. Bison are the only ones currently undefeated. Folks were winning big on the Blanca bet. Oh, how happy. We love to see it. How the mighty have fallen. Blanca's now 3-2. and two. Ryu is 4-1. and one. Mm. Finally, a tarnish on Ryu's record. A big, fat, red mark. Under the name of Blanca. That Blanca ball is so beautiful. Bison hasn't fought this round yet, and I'm feeling it on the wind. I think Bison will take a loss. Maybe. Maybe. We're almost there. We're almost there. He's the last fight of the night. Next up. Two and two versus a one and three. We've got DJ versus Sagat. Blanca's like the spy from Stratego. Almost anyone can take him out, but he can also take out the highest ranked pieces. DJ or Sagat? You decide. My heart! Oh, DJ versus Sagat. DJ was coming in 2-0. He's lost his two most recent fights. DJ won against T-Hawk and Fei Long, lost against Balrog and Vega. Of course he lost to Vega. Vega's crazy. But Sagat got his first win in the last round against Dalsim. Sagat wins his second in a row to end up Two and three. But now, time to exercise four reels with hiccups handled. Chris Alash. Tiger will win one of these fights that I bet on him. Legs versus legs. Pants legs versus skin legs. It's a real question. They both like to dance. Obviously. They both love to dance. Let's find out who's going to win. We're going... DJ gets the home advantage every time. Back to Jamaica, baby. They've got a bobsled team. I don't know if you know this. They have a... They don't believe it. But they do. Mm. Wow, DJ. Coming in hot. Machine gun punch. What was that? DJ was just spamming the light punch. Wow, his super's already ready. Okay, DJ's taking a couple reckless moves here. He's taking a couple hits. Oh, got him there. Got Sagat kind of in the corner there. All he needs is a good hit here. He could use that super and it'd be over. But no, he's gotta he's gotta play it. He's gotta make it a good fight. Mmm, DJ takes the first round. That's so beautiful. Samba, Dijone. Okay, matching projectile with projectile. Taking a kick to the face. It's crazy how how tiny DJ's head is. Has anyone noticed this? It's flat. It's like he's got eyebrow, and then there's immediately the top of the skull. What are you trying to say here, Capcom? What are you trying to say here? Oh, dude, busting out the super, blocked and countered by Sagat with a tiger uppercut. Let's see, this, oh, it's the standoff right now. He's aerodynamic. That's exactly it. Put on sunglasses, magically appeared. Oh, the first double first attack again. We love to see those. 
exchanging projectiles. De oh, Sagat's just eating him. He's eating him! So hungry. So hungry. Sagat is so hungry. Not for a win, but for a knuckle sandwich. Same thing with DJ. Just letting the projectiles just hit him. Anything can happen. Oh, there it is! So it's like the CPU takes the great characters and just lacklusterly loses with them. DJ. Going again for another big win. That puts him at 3-2. and two. And Sagat, 1-4. and four. Wow. Okay, DJ gets the win against Sagat. He's a solid fighter. That's the thing. DJ isn't... You, you, you would think, right, he'd be super flashy, considering. But he just... He low-key flies under the radar, gets the wins. Just a solid competitor. I want to tag this Sagat out for Vanilla Street Fighter 4 Sagat is really the most... Really the most beefy. All right. We're getting close to the end. Two more fights left. We have ourselves the Hollywood martial arts master, Fei Long, against the bear wrestling Eastern European powerhouse. And gif. Who's gonna win? Fei Long or Zang Gif? Look at the record. Fei Long, two and two. Zang Gif, two and two. Fei Long went split one and one in the last two rounds. Zang Gif won two and zero oh in the last two rounds. Zangief was one against T-Hawk and Guile. Fei Long won against Dalsim and T-Hawk. Who knows? Zangief lost against Ken and Kami. Fei Long lost against DJ and Kami. Who knows here? Yeah, praise Sagat in four is insane. Feilong won against the Grappler, but so did Zangief, though. Simon, so did Zangief. He won against the Grappler as well. Just saying. All right, we're going to China. Hong Kong. Sorry, we're going to Hong Kong. Free Hong Kong. That'd be great for Z wow. if he were fighting a Grappler right now. <laughs> I guess that's true. Right now, Fei Long is just ducking and weaving. But, oh! I mean, look. That big life lead that Fei Long has now is a very tiny life lead. A much bigger life lead now. <laughs> the big suplex from Zangief, though. Oh, look at that! Zangief gets the first round with this great, solid grappling mechanics. He has, Fei Long has all those mythical Pokemon in the gra background coaching him. He's got his Articuno and his Moltres. There's a way Karaza over there, I think. Zangief's got the confidence now. Oh, he's grabbing he's grabbing the junk. He's just gra he's squeezing the balls. He's a ball buster. That's why he gets that green hand. Look at that. Zangief, the second round. Look at that! This is the Zangief I see. When I run my own simulations, just for fun. Oh! He was going in for a big old bear hug and Fei Long was like, oh god, no. <laughs> Thank you, I'll pass on that. Thank you, though. I appreciate your friendly nature, but no. Here we go. Fei Long's got some major momentum now. Look at this big life lead. Are we going to get another perfect? No, we're not going to get another perfect. Say Geef is too crazy. The stinky palm. Fei Long may have athlete's foot. That burning, tough act and tenactin action. 
But then he's got that stinky palm. Stinky palm. Can't beat it. Phalong gets a nice over the round. It's now round four. Can he overcome Zangief and the throws? It's hard to, to over overcome this. Zangief is so strong. Is Zangief going to go undefeated in these last three rounds? Yes. Yes, he is. Zangief is back in action, being 0-2 to now 3-2. Wow. I did not expect this. I did not expect this. All right, folks. Let's give Zang let's let's uh update his uh his roster here, his uh performance. He gets the win. Fei Long gets the loss. Fei Long is now Two and three. Zangief is three and two. It's time, folks. The final fight of the night. Do you believe in the power of yoga? Will be the, this be the one to stop the dictator? No eyes versus no eyes. Final fight. I thought this was King of Fighters. I mean Mortal Kombat. I mean Samurai Showdown. They both don't have any eyes. They don't have any pupils. Dalsim versus Mike Bison. Undefeated Mike Bison. Versus a 1-3 in three Dalsim. Dalsim has only had one win. That win against Balrog. He's beat one boss. Why can't he beat another? Hat versus Paint. Old White Eyes. Skulls. Versus Pantsuit. Who's it going to be? Wow. Okay. Okay. Mike Bison's got himself 5,000 right now. And a couple stragglers are putting their little, their penny candies in for Dalsim. It's time to cash in on those penny candies that Nana gave you. Who's going to win? We're going to India. Let's see. Bison has the speed, he has the power, he has the physique, says Simon. But does he have the win? Oh man. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Bison's got this one. <laughs> I don't know, Dalsim. I don't know, Dalsim. I don't know. I want you to win, but I don't think you're gonna. There you go, there you go. Get some get some momentum. He's eating the yoga fires. Oh Dulcie! 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 What? What a comeback! What a comeback! Holy smokes, praise! 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 Get ready to be upset, man! <laughs> I don't mean to make you upset, but get ready. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the possibility of being upset. Bison's got Dalsim in the corner right now. That's a good place to be for uh, for Bison right now. Oh yeah, he's stomping on the head now. I'm about to throw my work computer on the ground right now. <laughs> Not the dreaded Yoga Noogie. Bison came back with a vengeance there. It's okay, Praise. Look. It's okay. Look at him. He's a champ. He's a champ. Sure, he ate that fireball right now, but he's a champ. Oh, no. What's going on with Bison eating these yoga fires? Hey, Dalsim, just yoga fire, buddy. Yoga fire. What is... Bison, what are you doing? They're just... They're doing an aerial ballet right now. Oh, the Nookie! 
the Nuggy! The Nuggy! Oh my god. Dalsim, stop it. Stop it. Dalsim, stop it! <laughs> Dalsim! Urban Artifact Beer, if you're here, you gotta be happy with this performance right now. Lips <laughs> throw it down the dances! <laughs> oh no, Praise, I'm so sorry! I gotta root for the underdog, Praise. You have to understand, I am a man of the underdog. I'm a man of the working class. I root for the underdogs. <laughs> Rigged! It's not over yet. Oh, this! Look at how much how much chip damage that super did. Oh my gosh! I don't think we've ever even seen Delsim super yet. I don't even know what it is. Bison's got the big life lead now. Time is running out. The big trade there. Okay, Delsim got himself out of the corner, but at what cost here? Got a super meter up. Oh, the trade again. Not worth it. We're going to round five, boys. We're going to round five. Let's go. Oh, the Psycho Crusher. Out does the slide. Bison's getting that big life lead right from the get-go. Already, Delsim's already at half health. But he's doing his slides, which are pretty decent. The Yoga Nuggie has been working. Bison is his emotions toyed with right now. Eats a yoga fire. We love to see it. Dalsim's teleporting all over the place. Oh no! Look at the health! Look at the health! Like the next hit wins! Oh, and Bison barely makes it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Praise, you lucky son of you lucky son of a god. What a fight! What a fight to end it on! Brah! Brah! Mike Bison! Dude, I think we all were sweating. That was a good fight! That's, that's the best way to end it. It's the best way to end it. <sighs> so freaking close. I lost some points, but that was pretty fantastic. Give me them Buckazoids, baby. All right. Let's recap the day, shall we? We have ourselves. Dull seems one and four, and you know he shouldn't be right now. He shouldn't be. Our big winners this session. Bison... Cammy, undefe or sorry, Bison Vega, undefeated right now. Praise the Suns and Bison, Lapilicus is Vega, undefeated. Cammy gets her first loss, Ryu gets his first loss, Dwarven Dad, Kuno Oni, down to a second place of 4 and 1. Folks, we saw some really amazing performances from the likes of Zangief. Three wins in a row right now. Three win fight win streak right now. Phenomenal. DJ hanging in there because he was hurting. He was in a spiral downward. Two big losses. Coming back though, three and two. Blanca staying in the middle of the pack like he do. Taking away the perfect record of Ryu. Now he's at three and two. My good friend Gunstar, still kind of middle of the pack. Giles, 2 and 3. Sakura, 2 and 3 for Chun Li. Keyglyph's 2 and 3 with the Honda. Fei Long is 2 and 3. Balrog's 2 and 3. Oh! Sagat and Dalsim and Ken, 1 and 4. It hurts. Dalsim should have gotten that win. Undefeated at 5 and 0. Oh. You'll love to see it. And poor Edgar. I'm sorry, Edgar. T Hawk is 0 5. 0 5. But look at this. It's freaking Christmas here. 
There's no rhyme or reason to this crazy madness of color. It's a cavalcade. <sighs> I haven't had this much fun actually watching a stream in a while. Praise, that's means the world to, to me. I hope more folks come in to see this stuff. I do. Edgar says, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Edgar, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with T-Hawk. I don't know. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. <sighs> folks, I think I'm going to call it. I'm tired. I got a lot of work to do still. The night's young. Prey says, like, I usually just work and play games while I have streams on, but these I can't help but watch. So much fun. Praise, we're going to see more of these. We will. Some might not have the prizes, but we're going to see more of these. I've got some things on my sleeve. Praise. Thanks for the show, Fight for More Robocus. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. As I said, thank you. Let's go see who's on to raid. Let's go find a raid, shall we? Boink. <sighs> Man. That was good. That was good. Hold on. We saved. Good. Okay. Who's online right now? Let's see. Who do we got? Let's go say hi to... Oh. Oh, we have to. We have to. We're going to raid Decap Jedi. They're playing a Spider-Man point-and-click adventure game. We have to go in to see this. We have to. Why no Vega emote? Lip, what's Vega's emote? Come on now. What does he do? What, rolling around? No. He doesn't get anything. A spidey point and click, Simon, indeed. Folks, it was an absolute pleasure. Friday, we are going to pray to God that we can get some progress in Shining the Holy Ark. I had so much fun. I love doing this. I'm glad you guys love it, too, because I legitimately have so much fun doing this. This is probably the most fun that I have streaming in general. It's so good. Sakonico, you missed the whole thing. Do you like that one, Sakonico? That's a good emote. All right, guys. I'll be back uh, Friday night. Shining the Holy Ark. I'm sorry, Sakonico. We gotta go watch the VOD. It's worth it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell. Farewell. Night, night. <laughs>